Hello Zaniacs, welcome to Zaniac TV, I'm your host Zane, and today I'm going to be going over a 17 Waycrest Manor that I did live with some viewers with Bursting Skittish on Tyrannical. Right, so the first thing I said to them on a Discord was I wanted them to pull the entire room. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, there's bursting, but I, I'm going to show you guys what I did to handle this bursting. So he didn't pull the first one over there to the left, so I ended up grabbing it for him. I just put some pre-hots up on people. And then uh, once these burstings went off, they did get to seven. So once I got to seven, I ended up using a uh, revival. All right, so this is where it gets a little bit uh, complicated here. Uh, the uh, pathing for the uh, blob was not very good. And I ended up getting a couple people off of line of sight. So there was a little bit of wipes here because I was trying to overcompensate for them being out of line of sight. And I should not have done that. What I should have done was keep myself safe and tell them, since we were on comms, to go over and stay in line of sight. It happened twice. Uh, he said on calm that he's going to the sisters, so I ignored everything else and I just went straight there. I was hoping the hunter would get in the line of sight, just barely survived it. Tank was talking about how he wasn't sure how to handle the blob and I'm answering him right now by kiting it to the boss room because there's just not enough room to heal with all the blobs on the ground. After all the deaths, you gotta grab that food buff when you can. As the only monk in the group, there's gonna be a point where I run in and make sure I tag everything to get that 5% physical buff. With the 50% reduced healing, I'm not trying to heal too hard. I'm just trying to keep everyone somewhat top topped off without blowing um, any mana too quickly. After switching to Malady, just you point, get off a heal, move. There's not much you can really do outside of that. With warning of the jagged needles, I threw as much healing as I could on me prior to it coming on. I heard the uh, the first uh, sister, uh, Selena, have her uh, effect happen, so that's why I threw on the bubble onto uh, the warrior because the 50% healing reduction, I had to make sure I topped him off for the the jagged needles.
My mana is dangerously low right now, which is why I used Mott's Heroic Trinket to try to get some mana back. I had to pop a mana pot because I had no mana. And just in case the Jagged Needle stayed, the clapback would have had um, too much health loss with no mana. So the tank didn't really hear me say I didn't have mana and he pulled anyway. So I have to compensate other ways, which is why I use Spirit of the Crane talents. With no chances to drink with bursting, you gotta get mana where you can. So Spirit of the Crane is a great uh, talent for that. Any mana regen is good mana regen, even if you only get a few bites of food. The worst thing that could happen to a healer is high stacks, ticking, and then right at the end of the tick it resets and does it again. Using Lifebinder's Evocation is very powerful for bursting because every time you take tick damage, it takes one of the seeds, so it counterbalances it.
All right, so we ended up having to do this boss twice because uh, Tank didn't clear stacks when he needed to and it got too hard and he ended up getting one shot. On Tyrannical, you do have to make sure stacks get cleared. Since he was about to clear, I pre-hotted everybody, but every time, just bad luck, when I clear, I always get rooted and stunned. But lucky for me, they broke me out quickly. He went to go clear and the fires drained, so I popped as many cooldowns as I could on him. Don't forget, as the only monk, I had to uh, put the physical debuff on everything. While the devastation pulled through the door. So I called that I needed mana and they pulled anyway. So I was only able to get a few bites in before I had to roll up and help. But any mana is good mana when you're on bursting. I reminded the group that during bursting it takes 4 seconds before we can drink at all. So since I have no mana I told them I have to eat, but I'm still in combat from the uh, infested that they didn't end up interrupting. Didn't have a chance to fill up.
So me not moving from the explosions costed me a little bit of mana, but it wasn't really a problem overall. It's just not recommended to do that, especially on higher keys. On this fight, they ignored the ads, but that's when I learned that the ads, when they get to the boss, they, it just increases physical damage to the tank. But I still put down my uh, Ring of Peace to try to prolong that. What they actually said on Discord was, I'm not going to move out of this. It's not even going to hurt me. And then their health just dropped. So definitely don't want to stand in that stuff. All right, so for the fear ad, uh, I use Revitalize right away. So that way everybody can DPS the ads down quickly because they do a lot of damage. And now I focus on dispelling the tank first. So that way he doesn't run around. If it's all DPS, I just pick one at random to dispel. Right, we're waiting inside of the uh, the phase to for the tank to unlock the other obelisk and then kite it downstairs. And just gotta drink when you can. Be careful because obelisk stands you up. So make sure you get your mana when you can. Crackling Jade Lightning is great for trying to get the 5% physical damage buff on them if you can't get up to the boss to hit them. The warrior just didn't follow us down and he ended up pulling aggro onto the the ad and it got and he got killed from that. But since he didn't keep up, I wasn't able to heal him. We don't have enough percentage right now to go down. So we were talking about having to do the matron, because you need 84 to go down. The rogue ended up getting stuck on one of the uh, things that you can get stuck on here. I don't know what he got stuck on, but he announced that he got stuck.
We pulled one extra pack and then one of the DPS ended up pulling the matron as well. We only needed the matron. We didn't need the extra pack. We ended up over pulling. So we are going to be over on percent, but it's okay because we ended up timing the key anyway. Ended up having to burn my healing elixirs and my revival to compensate for that. And he pulls before I have mana. So I had to pop a mana pot and my mot drink it. I went to dispel and I'm like, nope, don't do that. So if the healer is sitting up on this ledge, the ghouls can't jump to anybody. So I ended up transcendencing back there and eating before I got into combat. And then they're gonna get all of the, uh, all of the adds and they're not gonna jump. We got to six stacks of bursting. I should have popped uh, life binders, but I didn't. But since the release was right there, it wasn't too much time loss. So with seven minutes left, I told him I need to eat. 
So I'm sitting there and eating as much as I can. They're letting me get to full. We are fighting this with uh, one obelisk still up. Usually the healer does candles, but the hunter volunteered to do them. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'll just heal then. Get that quick tag in. I ended up getting the fires anyway uh, for a little bit, but then I stopped and let him do it. Ring of Peace can be used to interrupt the death lens as well as leg sweep and paralysis. So if you notice that the uh, that they're stunning people, just make sure you go ahead and throw that in there. The rogue died because not only was he not full health, but there were too many ads out because the fires were not getting done properly. There are a lot of ads out because people realize that, oh, it's the bosses at low health. Let's just burn them down. But it's tyrannical week. And the fact that we only have four players makes it even longer. So that's why my mana is so low because I have to heal through that. But we ended up timing it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.